Welcome to Classy Game Room, where I'm reviewing Klonoa Empire of Dreams for the Game Boy Advance. Klonoa, everyone's favorite... What is he? Is he a rodent of some kind? <laughs> Wahoo, indeed! It's Klonoa Empire of Dreams from 2001 for your Game Boy Advance. A side-scrolling, platforming puzzle game from Namco. Featuring Klonoa, a likable video game hero that should be more famous than he is. But what is he? Is he a mouse? Squirrel? Badger? Mole? What is Klonoa? Anyone? Google that. We'll come back to that. I'm not sure what he is, but I am convinced that his games rock. After our good friend Mohammed in Qatar sent the show all of them. And back to back I have been playing the first one, Klonoa Door to Phantom Isle on the PlayStation, and this one, Klonoa Empire of Dreams, which is a more traditional 2D side-scrolling platformer. And a really good one. While Klonoa isn't a household name like Sonic or Mario, anyone who's played the Klonoa games loves them. And it's easy to see why. They're just likable, fun games that have a lot of puzzle solving in addition to some excellent platforming. And for some reason they remind me of Kirby mixed with Super Mario Brothers, if that makes any sense, which it probably doesn't. Klonoa can jump and hover by flapping his ears, but he frequently can't reach the next ledge or platform or whatever, so you have to use other characters and creatures in the game to double jump. And that's immensely likable. How about we swipe this guy, who's a bomb with a timer, and put him on this block which is destroyed, that breaks away revealing the wind geyser or whatever, and lets us reach the key. Good times, but it still doesn't answer what Klonoa is. Opossum. He's definitely not a hedgehog. Plumber. Centipede? Don't mind if I do. How hard is it to find out what Klonoa is? Apparently it's pretty difficult, but he does have Pac-Man on the side of his hat, so major street cred to Klonoa. While he may not be super famous in the West, at least the Klonoa games have for the most part received Western releases. There's a lot of them. On the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, Wii, and Bandai Wonderswan. There's even Klonoa Volleyball. Take that, girls of dead or alive. I know how to make a white Russian with Kahlua. Not Klonoa. This one is a pretty straightforward game for the most part. There's some skateboarding scenes, but predominantly it's platforming and puzzle solving, with some boss battles thrown in for good measure. The control scheme is simple and effective. You can jump, you grab enemies, throw them, or jump with the enemies. It's simple and it's beautiful. As are the visuals, it's colorful, lively, kid-friendly, and tons of fun. It gets challenging in the later levels, though, as the game tests your puzzle-solving skills as well as forcing you to use pretty much every enemy and key or trick or item to do something. You'll need to collect all of these stars to get through the levels and collect all of the gems to prove that you've really defeated the game. The storyline's a little weird, something about dreams and food reminds me of Dreamscape, except a lot less creepy. And while this Klonoa doesn't have quite the visual impact of the PlayStation version, as you'll see, it's still super cool and lots of fun to play. But that still doesn't answer the big question, what is Klonoa? Hippopotamus. Pokemon. Wrong and wrong. Why doesn't Namco put some more muscle behind this guy? He's great. This is some good solid platforming. There's so many of you watching right now who will love the Klonoa games, and this is a good one to start with, even though I guess there is a storyline chronologically. Klonoa Empire of Dreams is really cheap and easy to find. It plays on the Game Boy Advance and, as you can see, the Game Boy Player for the GameCube. It's Klonoa Empire of Dreams. A big thanks once again to our friend Mohammed in Qatar. 
and I highly, highly recommend this game for you platforming fans out there. I'll see you back here with a review of Klonoa Door to Phantom Isle, which is actually just the first Klonoa. In the meantime, check out Klonoa Empire of Dreams. As always, you can buy the game through the ClassicGameRoom.com website and dig Klonoa like a ditch. Although I still don't know what he is. Apparently, we, we may have found out that, according to the internet, Klonoa is a cat with rabbit-like ears. Which sounds strangely like some kind of horrible military experiment. And he has Pac-Man on his hat. Was he a Lombax? Or is that a different game? <laughs>